Okay, I'm going to show you how to create a sketch on Sketchpad app. Okay, so we want to open a new file. It needs to be transparent because we're going to color it in later in a different program. So we want it to be transparent. We want it to be a big file so that later on if we print it out, it won't look pixelated. So um, I'm going to make mine about 1,000 pixels by uh, 1,200 pixels. Okay, I'm just going to zoom out a little so you can see that page a little better. I have saved a reference image of the artist that I'm going to draw for this tutorial in my files, and I'm just grabbing that and dragging it in. Okay. Uh, I make it bigger by using these transform controls on the sides about this size. Okay. Um, now over here, you can see that some layers have started themselves. So as soon as we've put in an image, um, it's created a first layer. And once I start drawing, more layers will be created over the top. The first thing I want to do is create uh, a great reference image that I can use to draw over. Um, I want to turn down the opacity so that I can see my lines a bit better. I still want to be able to see the image so I can draw it easily, but I kind of want it just a bit lower. So I drag the opacity slide down. I can come over here to my pencil tool. You can use the pencil tool or the streamer tool. The streamer tool will be kind of like a paintbrush. I quite like that one, so I'm going to use that one. And I can control the width here, okay? I'm going to work at about that width. I'm going to zoom in so that I can see what I'm doing a little better. Uh, I don't use an eraser tool in this program. I've just pressed control Z if I make a mistake or command Z, depending on what kind of computer you're using. The streamer's tool kind of like starts off thin and gets thicker the longer you hold it down for. So you can be strategic about how you want your lines to look. I'm not being too precious about my lines because I don't mind if my drawing looks a little bit cartoonish.
Okay, so that's about it for my outlines. Uh, I'm going to add more details when I add colour, when I move this artwork into the next drawing. So let's have a look and see how this has turned out without the image underneath. So I go over here to my layers and I scroll all the way to the bottom and I can actually switch off the original image to see if I've captured enough of the detail here. I, I think I'm happy with that um, for my drawing for now. Okay, so I can actually delete this image now because I don't need it anymore. And I then go to export. I want to save this as a sketchpad file um, in case I want to come back to it later and change something about it. Um, and I will also save it as a PNG file. That's a transparent file that will allow me to put it into programs like PhotoP or Photoshop and be able to color underneath it um, and for the color to show up through because it's transparent. So I will download it as that as well. A couple of other things to note are that you can actually move these lines around. Once these lines are drawn, you can make them bigger, smaller, you can delete them if you decide you didn't want one of them. Um, it actually becomes really easy to move all the individual lines around. So if there's anything you need to change before you save it, you can change things and then you're ready to go to the next step.